When Jennifer Williams was growing up in Roy, her parents had a street light put in near the family's front pasture so Jennifer could safely ride horses into the night. That was at the age of five. Now, at 43, she's still riding and still chasing after her Olympic dreams. So keep the left flexion through the center line. Inside track, stretch them on the outs. Perfect, right there. Jennifer Williams has always had a love for horses. Good. I would say around two years old, my mom would take me and put me on her horse. And I think they realized very early on that I had quite the passion for not only animals, but particularly horses. She got her first horse when she was seven and started competing in dressage at 12. I was able to figure out how to make her move in ways that it was almost like a balletic movement where she could really I could see that process of how I could teach the horse to dance. It takes a special bond between a rider and a horse to succeed in dressage. So you want horses to be your partner. They're with you every day. You want them to love what they're doing. There's really nothing more special than being able to compete at a high level and have your horse enjoying that journey with you. From 2019 to 23, the journey would get exciting for Williams as she won and placed high in several national and international events representing the U.S. It's such an honor. I want to always do my very best for my country and any time that you get to ride for a U.S. team, there's pressure but so much joy to get to be at that level. Last June, Williams and her horse, Jopi, put together their strongest test ever, winning a Grand Prix and Grand Prix Special in British Columbia. We've been together a little over five years now. Just the most joyful, friendly, loving guy. Always does his best. He makes me very proud every day. Come on. The Bethel High alum spent countless hours training at Somerville Premier Dressage in Roy, a place she calls horse heaven. Williams now lives and trains in Florida with her husband, two kids, and Jopi. And then slower. She makes it back to Roy once in a while to see family and help coach others. Encourage him to stretch, that's it. Williams says a good dressage rider finds balance with themselves and the horse. They feel for rhythm and ride within it. Trust is also an important factor. It is not easy. I, I mean, these horses are athletes and it takes years. We're with these horses for years to build the partnership so that they trust us in the, in the big crowd, in the big venues, and that you can execute all of those movements seamlessly. Making the U.S. Olympic team won't be easy, but these two are up for the challenge. It's always been a dream of mine to represent at that level. If we could make the short list and make it to Europe and ultimately make a team someday, that would be such a blessing. During the first week of May, the top eight horse rider combinations from the U.S. will be selected to compete in Europe. There, they will have two observation events, and then the final U.S. teams will be picked for Paris. Good luck. Chris Egan's going to be live, of course, in Paris for our Olympic coverage. The opening ceremony is coming up. It's set for Friday, July 26th.